Hey guys, welcome back to another Cubes Aquatics video. Today we are actually have another import coming in. I actually got another wholesale order coming in, so you guys are going to see all the different fish that I ordered, all the different things that I ordered in my um, wholesale order. So hopefully you guys enjoy these type of things, guys, and enjoy the video. Alright guys, the order of fish just came in here. So I'm going to go ahead and start opening these up quick. Um, they've been in the bag, they've been in here for a little while, so I'm just going to go ahead and start opening the up these quick. First, we're going to start the smaller box. Um, they just showed up on our door, so I brought them downstairs here, and I'm going to start opening these up here. First thing I want to do is I want to cross on my address. There we go. I forgot to cross on my address there, but let's go ahead and get these things open. All right. In this bag here, we have, these look to be like all my fish bags are ordered. I ordered a whole bunch of different fish bags. So there's those and a whole bunch of feeder fish. It's a huge bag full of feeders. We'll move these over to the side here. And we got some shrimp. These are some ghost shrimp, I believe. Um, feeder ghost shrimp. And that's that, whole bag, that's that whole box here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. Now we can move, move over to the bigger box, which has a lot more inside. Okay, so we got some things on there. I don't want to show my address at all, so. And there's my receipt. Don't want to show that as as well. But we'll go ahead and get this thing open up here. And here it is. You can see my heat packs on top. Heat packs are still warm, which is good. They're just kind of There we go. Here is everything. It's a lot of fish in there, I won't lie. Um, you can see, I, oh gosh, that is, so I had a customer that wanted a tarantula, and I ordered it in for her, and it's kind of scary, because I don't like spiders. Oh, jeez, that is scary. Holy crap, look at that, there's a tarantula in there. Oh my gosh, there's a tarantula. That's crazy, I don't want to touch that. Tarantula in there, I'm not, I don't really like spiders, it's, ugh. It's kind of sick, but we'll go and start opening these up here. First thing we got in here are some panda quarries. They look like they have some panda quarries. Um, so let's move these over to the side. Then we got a whole bunch of betas. So I believe these are all my male beta. Oh, that one has a leak. Uh oh. This one has sprung a leak. But we have some of these betas here. We're going to want to move these out of the way. There we go. These are all betas right here. There we go. Move those over to the side. We got in here. We have a oh a Synthodonis catfish. This is a micro micro guy. Um, I can't really tell if you guys can see this. It's kind of hard to get this up close. I have a Synthodonis catfish in here. Then we have in here we have. The guppies, we have three, I think these are cobra deltas, I'm not sure. We've got three um, males in there, and I believe these ones are going to be the females. Um, yep, these are like the female guppies, so we got male and female um, guppies. Next thing in here, is here's the glowfish a customer wanted, so I ordered those in for her. These are here now, all look good. Next thing in here is we got two ballet sharks move these over some of these have sprung a leak so that's not good but okay this is a cichlid this is a Jack Dempsey cichlid he's looking good in there set all these guys away here's my angelfish um, we got four angel five angelfish I believe yep angels in there Set those dies aside. And here we have my albino corridoras. Move those over. 
And here we have my Dalmatian Mollies. Then we have... Oh, jeez. And here we have... Ooh, these did not look so hot. We got a... We got about two live. I don't know exactly what these... I think these are the, the long fin. They're not looking too good. It looks like we got at least one or two deads. Next thing in here, we have more Corridoras. Um, a customer wanted these, so I ordered those in for her. And here we have more, um, these look like platies. Then we have more Mollies or platies or sword tails. More of those. Um, and here we have some sort of, oh, these are the shrimp, I think. These are some sort of shrimp. I have no idea. I don't think I ordered these, but um, I'll look at those in a little bit. I really hope the fish that I really wanted came. Um, we have a we have a um, a frog in there. A customer wanted that, so I ordered a frog in for them. Uh, we have the kissing fish. Looks like we got one. Not doing so good. Kissing fish. Um, and here we have um uh, the Daniel's longfin, and then over here we have. The all of the um the all the plecos. One thing that I'm really sad about is I ordered um, a needle nose gar. I don't know if he came in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and start getting these guys into their tanks, acclimating, and get these guys in the tank as soon as possible. are taken out of you can see the boxes are empty I'm only gonna give you a little rundown of what I'm running with um, you can see this 20 gallon aquarium all empty running a sponge and box I have all my corridors in here on the albinos the pandas my guppies are gonna be going in here um, and the synthodonis catfish you can see all are going in there I'm um, also these zebra daniels they just don't fit there's all the fish are all taking up top but they'll be going in there as well then, this 10 gallon has already fish in there, so I'm not going to re-quarantine this tank, but in this 10 gallon tank, I have the frog going in there. You can see it right there, there's a frog, um, an African frog. He's going to be going in my little basket, just so he doesn't get hurt. Um, you can see the Dalmatian mollies, the platies, and the sword tails are all going in there. Still don't have a place for all these feeder goldfish. Um, I had a customer that wanted some of these, so that's why I'm not sure where to put them yet. But I found out those shrimp. All those red ones, those are saltwater shrimp. No wonder why. So I'm acclimating them upstairs in my saltwater tank. But all um, the ghost shrimp are going in my shrimp tank right here. Um, that's my black moor that's just staying in there by itself. I still have three more fe female betas I need to get a tank for and corn and get them in. Up here in this 10 gallons half split, I have my Jack Dempsey going in here. And then I have the angelfish on one side. And this fit five gallon. This is the not doing good tank. The kissing garamis are not doing so well. Hot. You can see one's dead there. Um, you can see back here, um, those those white skirt tetras, they're not doing hot either. So they're going in this tank to be together. Um, but in this in this 20, I have the plecos. Then you can see I have the ballet sharks. And then I have the glowfish on the other side here. But that's pretty much everything other than my beta tanks. I set up these um, one gallons just for them to go for a little bit. Um, these are all the, the male betas. Um, but that's what everything's looking like now. All right, here now all these tanks fish are acclimated, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a bucket, get a net, and start getting these guys into their tanks.
as you guys can see here, um, the tank's looking all pretty well here. Um, these are the stuff that I have left after the selling. You can see I have some, I have a female story, some male, male story, some Dalmatian mollies, um, some pluckos still in there. Um, but everything else I've actually ended up selling. But so it's been two weeks since we got these. No ick, no sign of anything. So we're gonna go ahead and move all those fish in this 20 here into the 55 behind me. Move them all in there, and then we're gonna kind of switch some fish around to have more room in this 20 gallon. Um, get some fish moved around. We're also gonna add this golden grommet. You can see down there that 10 quarantining. Um, but everything's like that. But you see, we still have. I sold all the other ones, but we have one um, kissing grommet left. We, we still have the angels with the jewel cichlid there. Um, we have all 10 um, zebra daniels. I sold all the guppies in there already. You can see, still, I still have my catfish in there. Like that, um, but that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get a bag, bag those up, and put them in this to 55 here. All the fish in there, you can see I have one sword tail, female sword tail, five Dalmatian mollies, two platies. You can see one has like a hunchback, looks like a hunchback whale. I think he was not being called. I'm just gonna leave him in there, it's kind of cool looking. And three pluckos in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and catch up some more fish, like that golden grammy and some other fish just to put in there to fill that tank. See, up. all done here. The tank, all the fish are in there, you can see. Uh, one of the platies there, all some of the sword tails, stuff like that. You see the golden grommet in there. Um, everything's in there, ready to go. Um, so I'm just, that's me done for today. Uh, but now you can see I have this 20 gallon tank open. Still that one kissing grommet, the angels, and the uh, jewel cichlid over there, and the jewel Jack Dempsey as well. Just a little another update here. It's about about three and a half, four weeks later. I'm just gonna show you around the stuff I have left, um, and just do a quick little thing that all the fish that I've left that I got from my import here. So let's go ahead and show you guys the stuff I got. 55 are doing good. All the Dalmatian Molly, sword tails, grommies, all the five angels. Everything's doing good in there. Um, below, um, you can see I have all my zebra Danios down there. All of them they're doing good. All of the catfish. You can see I moved actually that kissing grommie. He did all well, so I put him in here with them. Then over here, I have all my goldfish. I actually ended up selling a whole bunch right, of them. You guys can see all the shrimp are doing well. You can see one actually right on top of there. That's actually a baby. There's some tons of shrimp in here. They all hide behind the sponge filter and everything. They're still doing good. If we go up here, this is a quarantine guy. That jacked up. She got all beat up. But we still have my beta selection. Actually, these are not the betas I imported. I got more of them. But still have all my betas and everything else is doing good. All the other stuff I sold. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed these type of things, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. Um, new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, so go check them out, guys. But thank you guys all so much for watching, guys. Make sure you hit the like button. I'll see you on my next video on Tuesday. Peace.